Hello, everybody. Pony22 here back with some more Mother of the Pony Friends of Magic. This is Season 5, Episode 24. The Main Attraction. Um. Okay. I have no idea what to think of this episode. Other than what people have said is that this episode is going to make you cry. Actually, one person said that to me. I'm not going to say who. So, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this. Can't wait to see what it's about. And I guess apparently this episode got, like, released a little bit earlier than usual, so. So, yeah, that's fun. Now, for those that are wondering about um that Ruby series, I am planning on doing it. Um, Hopefully I can probably record the first episode tomorrow or Monday, depending on how busy I am. So, yeah, so you can just look forward to that. So, yeah, let's get started with, with My Little Pony, so... Hmm, don't have any idea what this episode is going to be about, but apparently it's going to be so good it's going to make me cry. So, here we go. In three, a two, a one. Oh, hi, Applejack. Sorry if, sorry if I'm sniffling a little bit. I have a little bit of a sniffy nose right now. Cool. Wow, Applejack. Are you sure you've never managed a concert before? A concert? Out doing up a concert's the same as setting up a rodeo. And thanks to Pinky's connections organizing the Pony Palooza mm. Rock Concert, Interesting. we've got quite a lineup for the Helping Hoofs Music Festival. Oh, oh Pinky. Okay. Wait, <laughs> oh, Pinkie Pie. What is it, Pinky? I have the most amazing news ever. What? It's totally gonna break your friends. What? Well, spill it, Pinky. It wasn't easy. In fact, it was what? terribly difficult. But I have managed to book the biggest pony pop star in all of Equestria as the main attraction of the Helping Hoofs Music Festival! Who? Sapphire Shores? Sapphire Shores? Please! Sapphire Shores is merely the second biggest pony pop star in Equestria. Who then? I have booked the one, the only, Countess Coloratura! Ah. Who? Who in the hay is... Countess Coloratura. <gasps> My friend. Pinky? Pinky? What happened to your hair? Oh, okay, no intro. Do I have to skip that then? Countess Coloratura. Uh, I just told you that she's the biggest pony pop star in Equestria. How, 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 how have you not heard of her? Yeah, that's a good question. So I did know a gal named Coloratura when I was just a filly. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be the funniest thing if that coloratura and this coloratura were the same coloratura? <laughs> Do you mean huh? to tell me that you actually know Countess Coloratura? Well, I don't think it's the same pony since my friend wasn't any sort of highfalutin countess. Do you remember her cutie mark? Sure do. It had this super colorful bunch of musical notes that just shimmered in the light. You mean like this? Huh? Well, fancy that. There's the very same cutie mark. Do you have any idea the number of hoops I had to jump through to get her to perform at the festival? A whole lot of hoops! That's okay. So apparently Applejack knows this person. Pony. Yeah. I completely understand. We artists require certain necessities in order to do our best work. This was clearly some sort of misunderstanding. Because Ra Ra was just as down home as me. Ra Ra? Even that what? big name was too fancy for her. So I shortened Colora Chura to Ra Ra. Okay. We had the best time. Oh, flashback. Oh, that's. Ra Ra was just so easy going. Oh, that's. Oh, that's cute. From the same branch. Ra Ra and I prepared this song for the camp talent show. When we performed, she belted it out, singing in the most colorful, clear voice I'd ever heard. Equestria, the land I love, a land of Wow, nice singing voice. Our flag does wave from high above for pony kind to see. Why does that voice sound familiar? Equestria, a land of friends, where pony kind do roam. They say true friendship never ends. Equestria, my home. Cool. Camp. We wrote to each other for a bit, but 
then we lost touch. But Ra Ra always did want to go to Manhattan to try and make it big. Really? Demanding diva? Just you wait, Pinky. Once Ra Ra gets here, you'll see she's just a plain old pony like you and me. Okay. I don't have to wait. She's here! Really? Where? What? What? Oh my god! That looks so awesome! Oh my god! Wonder who they are. Cute little vibe. Oh, <laughs> can't be her. <clears throat> um, hi. Remember me? We met at Camp Friendship. I, I gave you the nickname Ra Ra. AJ? Yeah. <laughs> Howdy, Ra Ra. Whoopsies. <laughs> huh? From Countess Coloratura. Look! Oh, she clearly thinks you're very special. Huh. Hoopsies. Interesting. Hoopsies. Lyra! <laughs> yeah, real special. Now that's how you make an entrance big. Yeah. Old, absolutely stunning. Who is this guy? Muddied a bit with your interaction with that dusty farm pony. Do you actually know her? Oh yeah, that's my childhood Philly friend AJ. She was the one that started calling me Ra Ra. So yes. Interesting. And common. Apart, oh God. I was the one that started calling you Countess. And just look at how you've moved up in Equestria since then. Why, you've gotten everything yeah. you've ever wanted. I like her design. She looks so Thank awesome. Where is the pony, Pinkie Pie? Oh, I'm the pony, Pinkie Pie, Mr. Manager, sir. Do you have the water imported from Rainbow Falls that I requested for Countess Coloratura? I have 20 glass containers full right here. Did I not tell you to provide straws in all of Countess Coloratura's beverages? I don't think so. But lucky for you, I have the biggest straw collection in Equestria! Really? This straw, Fernando. Hmm. Let us confirm okay. that you have the rest of the items that Countess Coloratura requested before she performs her run-through, shall we? Oh, we shall! Floral arrangements from the Royal Canterlot Gardens, chocolate eclairs made by Gustave Legrand. As well oh God, as Gustave! From Empire, freshly picked cherries from Cherry Jubilee's farm, separated red from yellow. Absolutely. Well, by some miracle, your requests have been reasonably met. So let us move on to rehearsal. Okay. Demanding. Pinky's right, Rarity. The Ra Ra I knew didn't hide behind a veil giving out fake stamp kisses. Interesting. Water and needing her cherry separated. Okay, I wonder what's going on here then. Sometimes it's hard to see our friends change. She's become a whole other pony. Trust me, once you see Countess Coloratura perform, you simply won't believe it. Oh my god. You know, I'm gonna feel so stupid if this is someone famous I didn't know who it is. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Nice light show, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Rarity is right. 
right. I don't believe it. Uh. Oh, my shining star. Thanks to the sparkling <laughs> costumes, dazzling choreography, and brilliant vocal effects that I designed, your performance was spectacular, Countess Coloradora. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Sven Gallop. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but that feller isn't actually complimenting Rara. He's complimenting all the bells and whistles he's piled on to make her Countess Coloratura. Interesting. You don't understand, Applejack. So is it the manager? Is a lot of work, and Countess Coloratura's performance wouldn't exist without them. If you ask me, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Oh, if we're all done here, I'd love to go back to my trailer and rest, Sven Gallop. Actually, right now you're scheduled for your meet and greet with the school ponies. Oh, I can totally get you out of meeting with the school ponies, Countess. Absolutely not. My favorite part of any event is meeting with the school ponies. The school ponies will be so happy to hear that, Rara. Aww. That's good. Well, at least she stood up to his manager, her manager. Ponies. As part of the Helping Hooves Music Festival, I'm holding a contest where some of you will get a chance to sing with me on stage at the concert tomorrow. Sound fun? Yeah! Cool. Awesome. Now that's more like the raw rah I remember. But I got everything you requested. That was for Countess Coloratura. This is for me. And what I want is premium oats. Oh, well, we have lots of tasty oats right here in Ponyville. I would not feed those to a chicken. I want top of the line. Wow, so food. Oats. Next, it appears that we are surrounded by apple trees. Bring me 500 pre-peeled, pre-cored apples, and I want those things in 24 hours. But that's impossible! Oh, Do you God. Need me to pull Countess Coloratura from your little podunk charity show? Because I will. Oh, God. Applejack, Sven Gallop just made all of these new demands, and he said... I heard, Pinky, but don't you fret. I'll talk to Rara and fix things right up. you wrote to me about AJ? Hold on, Applejack. You wrote to Countess Coloratura <laughs> about me? AJ said you were the best little sister ever, Apple Bloom. Oh god. All right now. Uh you best get along, little ponies. <laughs> oh, little ponies, oh jeez. <laughs> uh, hey Raw Raw, you mind if I talk to you about your manager? Sure, what about him? Well, while you were meeting with the school ponies, he was demanding all sorts of stuff from Pinkie Pie. Sven Gallop works very hard as my manager, AJ, so if he needs some things when we're on the road, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Well, do you see something wrong with him telling Pinkie that if she doesn't get those things by tomorrow, he'd pull you from our charity festival? What? What? But he knows how important charity is to me, and leaving the festival would completely ruin my image. I'm afraid Sven Gallop doesn't give a pickle's pippin about your charity work. That's not true. Sven Gallop has always supported me in all my interests. You're just saying those things because you're jealous. Really? Oh my god. Not this again. so thick she can't see when some ponies you Uh No, I'm not jealous of that, Rara. I am not Rara. I am Countess Coloratura. And while we may have been friends when we were young, we have clearly gone in different directions. Oh god. How come she doesn't trust Applejack? Jack is Applejack is the element of honesty. It just ain't right. He's manipulating her. And she's just not seeing it. Enough stewing. More peeling. Sorry, Pinky, but there is no way I'm letting that lousy spin gallop use my friend like that. Oh, oh great, now Pinky's gonna have to do all these apples it's all by herself. So you said my real name. I said your new name. But I saw the real you hanging out with those school ponies yesterday. And I know some pony that'd prefer if you stopped doing those little events. Ugh, not this again. Come on now. You just gotta give me a chance to prove what I'm saying is true. And just how are you going to do that? Do exactly what I say. We'll see if that Sven Gallop truly has your best interests at heart. Oh god. Uh... Where are you, Sven Gallop? 
Here I am. Did you need something? Yes, I was considering maybe canceling the contest with the school ponies. Countess, this is wonderful. I've been waiting forever for you to cancel that pointless school pony contest. You have? Oh, God. I do it at every charity event, and it does absolutely nothing to promote the Countess Coloratura image that I built. <laughs> oh, God. Pinkie Pie! Sir, yes? May gallop, sir? <laughs> we are making some adjustments to the show. Follow me. Oh, my God. Cancel the contest for the Phillies and schedule me a spa treatment. Now that I don't have to oversee a rehearsal with those brats, I have time for the works. <laughs> you know the drill. Deliver or the diva ditches your dippy charity. Okay, Countess Coloratura. All taken care of. You know the drill. Deliver or the diva ditches your dippy charity. So that's how you've been managing things? Yeah, so what's the problem? The problem is is you've been using my name to intimidate Oh god. To get what you want. Well, eh, she figured it out now. Incredibly hard for you. I deserve everything I get. But not because you scare ponies into thinking I won't perform for their charities otherwise. I would never do that to my fans, which is why you should have known that I would never cancel the school ponies contest. <laughs> All this charity and school pony contest nonsense is just remnants of that boring little rah rah I met back in Manhattan. You clearly don't oh God. the real me. <laughs> awesome. Joke. I made you some pony. What can you even do without me? Good luck, Countess Coloratura. Good luck. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Oh, rah rah. I'm so sorry. Are you going to be okay for the concert tonight? Of course. After all, the show must go on. Uh, oh my gosh, Rarity. Sven Gallop's right. This is going to be a disaster. I'm going to be terrible. Can you give us a minute, Rarity? Certainly. Okay. Now, why is it going to be so terrible? Yeah. Because Sven Gallop was in charge of everything. The lights, the visuals, the sound. Without Sven Gallop, I have nothing. Now, now, don't go getting yourself into a tizzy there, Rara. Sven Gallop turned you into Countess Coloratura and acted like your friend so we could enjoy the perks that came with being a star. Oh? But the real perk of friendship is getting to see your friend being true to their self. And Rara, when you're simply yourself, you're the brightest star I've ever seen shine. Aw, that's so nice. Festival. Awesome. It's my great honor to introduce you to our headlining act, Countess Coloratura. This song may be familiar, but yet it's totally different. Kind of like me, Ra Ra. Huh? Interesting. So another song in this episode. I'm here to show you who I am. Throw off the veil, it's finally time. There's more to Yeah, so I haven't been talking much during this episode. There's just a few things going on there and a lot of songs too. that in the background I wonder one of them looked like um Octavia I'm missing things
Aww. The song is so... is about and she told me that if I was true to myself I couldn't go wrong so I have a very special surprise for her Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo, come on up Oh Equestria the land I love a land of harmony our flag does wave from high above a pony kind to see Okay. That's that's just awesome. <laughs> oh god. Oh that's fun. Um okay, I'm going to check out who the cast was. In that, but that was actually a pretty fun episode, man, dude. Uh Yeah, I think it... Alright, so... Um, I'll definitely be seeing y'all in the next episode. That was definitely quite a fun episode. You know, I didn't cry like everyone thought they would. Okay, so... I don't know who Lenny Hall is. That's who played that pony, but... Um, yeah, that's actually a pretty fun episode, you know? Definitely seen things like that before, you know manager like focusing more on himself instead of other people you know then they figure it out in the end but it was still quite a fun episode you know pretty good songs in it too and you know what this also means the next one the next episode is the season five finale the two-parter episode 25 and 6 so <sighs> I can't wait to see how things turn out on that. That's going to be quite exciting to see. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the next episode. You know, just let me know what y'all think, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.